Welcome back, everybody, to Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Uh, in the last one, we made it to Custodale El Sol. I keep screwing that up. Um, and we had a bit of a beach day. Tons of mini games uh, before uh, we went down to the beach. Saw that Hojo was the Shinra executive. Um, got a freaking face full of Tifa's. Uh, Haja Maja didgeridoos and and um had had a few touching moments with the gang except for Barrett where I said the wrong thing to him and he didn't like it I guess um also I I mean it's just uh we we had this giant fight on the beach with another one of Hojo's experiments Hojo made it away because Aerith said not to chase after him didn't really make any sense but. The one person I never would have expected to come to our rescue, at least effectively, was Yuffie. And she kind of saved the crew. Her and Johnny. So, not saying that she's not all bad just yet, but, um, you know, I guess we'll see. We'll continue to see how her character develops. <clears throat> right now, we will, uh, well, I think we are continuing to follow the black robe dudes throughout the island maybe I'm not quite sure we woke up the next day and uh we're just doing something so let's get back down there uh hello aren't you all forgetting about someone ah uh, god damn it and action i was just talking about you some know me as the world's greatest materia hunter Others, an unstoppable assassin, and the rest, a benevolent and beautiful ninja. But who am I truly? Who ties one rose? The one and only Yuffie. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Hold it, you spiky, you face. Where do you think you're going? Oh, fuck, dude. If what? Win, you get the honor of serving yours truly. However, if you manage to somehow fluke your way to victory, this amazing ninja will agree to join you. <laughs> what do you say? No. Beat it. Oh, it's like that, huh? Where's your pride? Your fighting spirit? <laughs> What's the matter? Afraid you're about to catch a beat down? Kinda. <laughs> of course you are. I mean, who wouldn't be intimidated by my awesome ninja skills? But have no fear, weaklings. For I, the most beguiling of ninjas, will be your new best friend. Well, bet you're thrilled, huh? Sure. Sure. I knew you'd say that. Well, seeing as you're so desperate, I guess I'll oblige you. <laughs> Welcome to the team, Yuffie. <laughs> oh boy. You try anything funny. Anything. I'll see you deal with Barrett. Sister Ray pointed at Wu Tai and blast you back home. Yeesh. But I hear ya. Ooh. <laughs> Looking at our material. You won't regret this, or my name is a Yuffie Kisaragi. Is she, uh. <laughs> Over here and <laughs> she gonna jack our shit, man. I'm not gonna like that. Slip into your beachwear at a changing booth and enjoy a stroll around town in some appropriately summery attire. Note that you will automatically change back to your default outfit upon leaving the area around Costa del Sol. Well, well, well. Uh, the Shinra 8 will ferry you between Costa del Sol and under Junon whenever you wish. So I guess that would have been the time where we'd go back and we'd do everything, but... That's okay. Speak with the, uh... 
Blank crew, whatever. And then uh, Johnny also now provides a fast travel service in Costa del Sol. Speak with him or his assistant to have them escort you around town. Understood. New quests are available at the, in the Corel region. Just gonna make a quick change for Tifa. Maybe Aerith too. Alright, that's a little bit easier on the eyes. Alright, let me take these. What is it? Okay. The Saga of the Seaside Inn. Client is Wavering Hero. Johnny Seaside Inn. <laughs> Johnny Seaside Inn is currently undergoing a complete renovation to better cater to you, our beloved customers, and uh, we could use a little help. Help that isn't me, and by me, I mean we, and by we, I mean uh, it'll be easier to explain when you meet the gang. And by you, I mean my one true bro, Cloud. Don't leave me hanging. What the f fuck? So this is just from Johnny, and it's meant for us. But he put it on the help notice board. Rendezvous in Costa del Sol. Uh, the three fashionistas. Hey, lovebirds, we need your help in creating our next line of classic swimwear. All you have to do is go on a very special date we plan that's sure to bring you and your partner closer together than ever. So come see us on the beach if you're in the mood for some romance. Well, well, well. And, uh... Tifa's already wearing the perfect getup. There's Real quick. no finer sound in all the world than the voice of a humble piano. Uh... Alright, we got Tifa's theme. Yes. Lewis melodies are all the more pleasing when played on the piano. Thank you for sharing such joy with the world. I hope hey, no you worries. will count us with even more splendid performances in time. Me friggin' too. We've only found two pianos. Three? Two or three of them. I hope we find more. Alright, like I said, I'm not gonna worry too much about the side mission stuff uh, in this until... Until I need to, I might just check out to see if there's any new weapons that I can buy, but then after that, we're continuing on with the main story. Rune Blade. Greatsword inscribed with characters from a mystical ancient script. Alright, we're heading through. Are they just gonna automatically change? Wait, so if we, uh... If you're looking to borrow one of our birds, you'll need to purchase a rental pass first. Okay. How do I rent a bird membership? 300 gil. Thank you! I've registered your information in our system, so now you're free to borrow our birds whenever you like. What the fuck? This is my bird? Uh, where's the Chocobo station? Doesn't look like there is one around here. Alright. Alright, let's go. Here we go. Got it. the hell? A purple helicopter? What is that about? Pink, purple? Is that another... Another, um... Oh, man. It starts with a P... Phytoplasm, paranormal, I don't know. One of the... One of the things that involved the captain. I don't know. We're not even worrying about it right now. Oh, well, would you look at this? All right, give me the data.
It's like one of six. Oh, the region intel! God damn it, I completely forgot. I might as well catch up right now because otherwise it's gonna get left behind. Uh, Chadley, region intel. Okay, so... Sorry about this, if you don't want to listen to any of this, you can just skip forward a little bit in the, in the video, otherwise I'm gonna read through this, hopefully as least painstakingly as possible. Uh, I think I've already read this one, but I don't remember it, so I'm gonna reread it. Uh, Calm, a recent history. This humble town serves as a transport hub for the grasslands, hence the distinctive bailey built for the monitoring of commercial and private traffic during the war with the Republic of Junon, Shinra saw fit to occupy Calm due to its stout fortifications and strategic value, and it has remained under company control ever since. As it lacks a reactor of its own, Calm is reliant on Midgar and its pipelines for a steady supply of Mako, which is stored in a large tank for regulated use. This arrangement allows the residents to enjoy both modern conveniences and a healthy environment, a combination that has attached many new or attracted many new residents of late. Ten years ago, a significant portion of the town was damaged, though Shinra was quickly intervened and carried out a though Shinra quickly intervened and carried out a comprehensive reconstruction effort. Details regarding the incident and the extent of the destruction are sparse. In stark contrast to the barren, Mako-ravaged outskirts of Midgar, the ecosystem of the grasslands remains relatively unscathed. Streams flowing from the canal, or from the central mountain range, nourish the lush meadows below, which sustain a diverse range of species. Ranchers and farmers also benefit greatly from this bountiful environment. Vast wetlands make up much of the southern region. In days past, boats and chocobo carriages were a common sight, but as most goods are now transported by sea or air, Traffic through the wetlands has steadily decreased. Moreover, as an immense man-eating serpent dubbed Midgard Summer, uh, who we, well, Sephiroth killed, has been sighted in this area of late, few dare to brave the old trails. Even those capable of evading the gargantuan snake may yet fall victim to one of the many inescapable quagmires. A natural passage through the mountains between Junon and the grasslands, this mine has long served as a rich source of mithril. The mineral boasts an exquisite shimmer and remarkable strength, and is historically used to fashion the very finest weapons and armor, but it fell out of favor after Shinra developed superior synthetic materials. After the mine was closed, the Republic of Junon converted it into a tunnel for the general public, allowing travel to and from the grasslands. The glistening mithril deposits drew regular sightseers as well. Following Shinra's triumph over the Republic, however, the tunnel has been effectively abandoned. Various sections have fallen into disrepair, and the depths are host to untold dangers. Until, you know, we went through it and then pretty much sealed off both sides of it. The people of Junon were once largely seafarers who only returned to the shore to peddle the bounty of the ocean. Unlike other communities that settled in a single location and gradually expanded their territory, these sailors preferred the freedom of the open sea and over time banded together like, with like-minded souls to form a unique society. As a republic, they repurposed a flotilla of large vessels to construct a floating city that would serve as the center of their trade network. Having forged a robust infrastructure, they then set their sights on uniting the, dis the disparate peoples of the world. I still don't know if I'm saying that correctly. Though Junon ushered in an era of economic and cultural prosperity, it was not to last. Shinra's revolutionary Mako technology put paid to their ambitions, and their once proud city now slumbers beneath the waves. Uh, Junon the Fortress City. Having conquered the Republic of Junon, Shinra constructed a nigh impregnable fortress on the coast in the heart of the enemy's former territory. Powered by the world's only underwater Mako reactor and equipped with a colossal cannon capable of firing as far as Wutai, the stronghold resembles a vast battleship risen from the deep to defend the eastern continent. Junon is a city composed of multiple levels, each of which is lined with uniform buildings that were originally designed to serve the needs of military personnel. After the war with Wutai, some were converted into hotels and retail outlets, and the harbor and airport now see a constant stream of civilian visitors. 
Military exercises are still conducted frequently, however, and should the need arise, defense countermeasures can be deployed at a moment's notice. Transforming the city into a fortress ready to repel would-be invaders. And now the Corel region. Though Costa del Sol is now a renowned beach resort, renowned beach resort, uh, it was once home to a string of humble fishing villages. However, when relations between Shinra and the Republic of Junon began to deteriorate, Shinra annexed this portion of the coast. After the war, the company des designated the area for redevelopment, transforming it into the must-visit location for avid sunseekers that it is today. Costa del Sol offers vacation packages to suit any budget, allowing travelers from every corner of the globe to savor the idyllic beaches, period. Uh, plans that include a trip to the Gold Saucer have proven particularly popular. The Golden... The Gold Saucer. I don't know if I even have heard that as of yet. But uh, maybe we'll hear about it later. Alright. So we're all caught up. Sounds good. Play Arts Wheelie? I don't even know what the fuck those do. Oh shit! It's Acorn Butt! What the hell? Oh come on, dude! There we go. Here it is. Cannot proceed any further in your current attire. Get changed now. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. All right, you guys. Now that we're all dressed in our regular getup, and by us, I mean the ladies. Out of service. So we've got a walk? Ah, oh, you'll be fine. Fresh air, nice view. The view ain't all that. Yeah. Not unless you enjoy staring at ruined reactors. Right. You grew up around here, didn't you? <sighs> what? Let's get a move on. Are we hey, gonna get to know a little bit about Barrett? The materia's like super condensed Mako or something, right? So? So, that means, wherever we find Mako, we'll find Materia too! <laughs> Alright, timeout's over, team! Let's Jesus go. Christ! You know, Yuffie, when you're part of a team, you can't just do whatever you feel like. What? So, does that mean I gotta run everything by you first? Yep. So that's the game. Fine. Permission to sing, sir? Permission what? denied. Permission to scratch my back, sir? Permission huh? to blow my nose, sir? Oh, so Do I get permission to yawn yet? How? Do I get permission or not? Sure, you can do it while you're warming the bench. That's an abuse of power. Tyrant, tyrant! Keep telling your secret. How'd you put up with this jerk face? <laughs> His good qualities outweigh the bad. Yeah, he but how much? Like 51% good guy to 49% jerk face? I'd say Maybe he's like 85 to 15. So like a 55 45 split? Close to. Not you too, Tifa. I'd say 85 to 15. He's definitely gotten a lot, but I would. If the same situation the happened in the last the game. Sorry. What? Sorry. My legs are killing me. What the hell? Let's rest here. But if we stop now, the materia I mean, the mystery men might slip away. Hey, I know what to do. I'll go on ahead and scout the area for us. You guys can catch up later. Well, see ya. 
catch up later, my ass. <sighs> Think I'd better go keep an eye on them. Barrett's not himself right now, you know? I was just about to give him a compliment Take and then this whole okay? fucking thing started. No need to rush. Thanks. Will do. Is Zareth doing okay? Party selection locked. Fast travel's unavailable. Something is about to happen. Um, yeah, if if what happened in the first game happened now, where he got stabbed by a whisperer, or no, he, he got stabbed by Sephiroth, and a whisperer saved him. I I think I would actually fucking freak the hell out. Three mega potions on sale. Holy fuck, we're going against something really big. Wizard's Rod. You know, Yuffie wanted some fucking materia so bad, she left this shit behind. Innervation. Sandhog Pie is what that was called, and it had like a similar attack to like Sonic the Hedgehog. I don't know if that was intentional or inspired by, but it seems like it kind of was. What the hell? Is that Barrett? Alright, I guess nothing else was really around that area. Alright, I need to stop getting off the path. I need to just go for the mission. And it was the right path, son of a bitch. Well, there's Yuffie and Barrett. I guess we're going this way. Um... Through the cave? The trail? Why'd they leave all these fucking things behind? Alright, going up. They continue to go upwards that way. You still holding up okay? Yeah, feeling great actually. We do this all day. It's like, it's like someone's pulling me up. You've become one with the mountain. Say what? Uh... Really? I did? Hey! Thanks for having me! The hell are you doing, Red? Relax. It happens to all new climbers. If she passes out, I'll carry her. Let's go! <laughs> what the fuck? Is that real? <laughs> People just get, like, this fake second wind when they hike and shit. Uh, that... Don't hold back. I was like, did she fake it to try and, like, have Cloud be, you know, part of the group or whatever? Like, just to get us alone? But that's, um... That's funny. Rez just like, just let her tire herself out and then... I'll take care of it later. What the hell are you doing, Red? Is that Barrett crying? God damn. I need another bench. 
I tell Hiker. you, hikers these days ain't got no manners. You greet each other, it's proper. What well, happened? I'll be. Finally, folks who've got some manners. I don't get it. Tons of folks hiking up the mountain today, and not a one of them so much as uh, the black my hooded way. people. Even try calling out to a few sick looking fellas all in black, and what did I get? Silence. They're sick looking. <sighs> Hikers these days never learn to greet each other or something. Bro, mind your own fucking business. How about that? What in the hell are those? I guess we ought to fight them. Bagnadrana? God damn it. Let's go. Damn it. Come on. Let's go. Damn it. With me. That's your right. Ice. Ready? Be careful. Come on. Ready? Shit, 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 shit. Now. Come on. Ready? You're up. Let's go. Are you serious? What it red's down. Red is fucking down. Son of a bitch. What the hell? Are you okay? Now, let's go. You're up. Here we go. Ready? With me. Do it. Now. Ready? Let's go. Say no more. With me. Calling ice. Let's go. Come on, come on. Now. Ready? Come on. Chill. You're up. Let's do it. Holy shit. That was kind of scary. That did not heal us enough nearly at all. We need a bench really bad. Can I sit on these benches, please? No. Make it make sense. The other- oh no. Oh no. Oh god, we gotta find him. There's a bench. Oh god, let me sit down. Whew. Oh, rude! They're Come dropping on. them off? off you go. What is going on? Again? Well, look who it is. <clears throat> you here to pick a fight? What? Oh, <laughs> no. Just dropping off some unruly passengers. They were fine when we left Junon, and then they weren't. So, here we are. Don't know why. One minute they were okay, and the next... Eh, whatever. 
This is way above my pay grade. So, that's it? Now you can leave. Well, since you're here. <laughs> God damn it. We'd love to stay in chat, but Rude and I are busy people. She'll be more than happy to keep you company, though. Now play nice. Uh, not the ugliest woman I've been with. Oh god. Uh, fuck. Thunder and wind. Oh god. Now. You're up. Uh oh. Ah, oh, fuck. Come on. Serious? It fucking cut off my cast. It's your turn. Go for it. I got this. Do it. Ready? Holy shit, that was close. the hell holy shit Damn it. Have fun. Say no more. Come on, come on. Ah! Here I come. 
fucking hell. Jesus Christ. Guess the Turks are back on duty, huh? Wish they'd all go on vacation. For real? Come on. We need to find the others. What are you up to, Rufus? The next order of business is the Magnus Materia Project. As you are aware, simultaneous energy spikes were detected in Mako reactors across the world. After analyzing the data from each site, we found the spikes stem from the arrival of visitors, unfathomably large life forms. Oh, the... Is that what? a weapon? Based on available information, it would seem so. Why they supposedly it... appear when the planet is in danger? And each one carries an enormous orb of materia. What? More specifically, an orb from which they themselves were born. They are living enigmas. Would that be Leviathan? Organisms dying to be understood. And finally, my dream of capturing one is within reach. <laughs> oh, like the the, the things we summon. Heal one flashback, pull it apart, and see what makes it tick. Dude, Hojo has to die. What? Your wish, Professor, will soon be granted. We'll all get what we want once that materia is ours. This is ridiculous. Why waste time monster hunting when we're on the brink of creating the materia ourselves? I'm aware of your efforts, but it would behoove us to obtain naturally occurring specimens as well. Well, they would look good in the lobby. <laughs> Put them in the bathroom for all I care. Just leave me the carcasses. Those I'll take. Mr. President, please. What is this really about? Her eyes are purple. Wu Tai is after them. Well, talk about burying the lead. How do you know that? I'll need troops. My finest for the Madam Director. <laughs> Mr. President. Yes. The voice of reason. There's a question I never had the chance to ask your father. Perhaps you could speak on his behalf. We used Avalanche's activities as a cover to sabotage our own reactors and destroy Sector 7. Your father assured us these acts were in service to the Neo Midgar project. However, the fact remains that we have yet to locate the promised land of legend or even confirm if it actually exists. Great though he was, my father was old. And in his dotage, he became rash. But while we're on the subject, there's something I've been meaning to ask all of you regarding those decisions. Why is it that none of you even tried to stop him? He's like, he signed our paycheck, bro. Shinra must change. We must break new ground, grow stronger, smarter, observe, adapt, expand, control. My father built his empire with your loyal support, and I demand the same. I expect you all to prove that you are devoted not only to the company, but to me. Why such a large boardroom for such a small amount of executives and directors? For meetings? Like, with other people? <laughs> Zach! Who the hell are you, man? Sector 5. 
Yeah? Let me in. He's got his own buster sword. Is this a different time period? And also, is this the old, uh... This is the old lady that used to look over the apartments in Sector 7, is that right? No. What the um, fuck?! Elmira? Zach, right? Oh, it's Elmira. I thought it was yeah. Cloud's mom. Claudia, Jesus. I almost shit my pants. Where is she? Upstairs. What? Oh, it's... This is a different time period. Or, it's a different timeline. We still don't know that for sure. Um... But, Aerith is upstairs. Elmira must be here to see her daughter. You know, of course. Yeah, there it is. And there's Cloud. I'm going to take her home. Now slow down. I've been to your place. Shinra's got it staked out. Not anymore. They have bigger things to worry about. But... And I can't leave her with you. Why? Of course you can. Just look at Cloud. I've been taking care of- No, you haven't. Look at the state you've left her in. You didn't even wipe her face, for goodness sake. Bro, I saved her from a burning helicopter. I'm sorry. She wouldn't even be here right now. And I you say I as in were. Zach. And now that I'm here, I can see that I was right to be concerned. I brought a wheelchair for Aerith. But if Cloud's coming too, you'll just have to carry him. Think you can handle that? Got yeah, them both here I by himself. That That's Aerith, uh... Yes. And it's white. I know. I am... Back to the confusion. Huh? Aerith! She okay? You're okay. Right, Aerith? Bro, she's sleeping. Be quiet. Why did they decide to have Zack carry Cloud like that? Why not in the front? Who's carrying the Buster Sword? Hey, Elmira. Yes? What happened to this place? The world's ending. At least, that's what everyone's saying. Yeah, that flower's not looking so good. Oh, damn. What is going on? That's... Is that who she was referring to when she said future her? Hey, which way do you think Midgar is? It would be east of here. Didn't... That way. Didn't she ask that before? I wonder how my mom's doing back there. She seemed fine when I saw her. Maybe a little worried. She's gonna hate me for this. Talk to her as soon as you get home. She'll understand. Really looking forward to that conversation. Something's up, man. I want to figure it out. I wonder if this whole game is going to be just a cliffhanger for, uh, part three. Um... The third installment. It's already- I mean, it's so much better than the first one was. So much more context, so much more understanding. So much deeper character development. Cutscenes look so much nicer. I mean, it was in development for four years, and they have 8,000 different mini-games. But, um... 
Yeah, I'm interested to oh see just God. how it ends, but we're not even half. I I don't think we're even halfway. Uh, what is it? Chapter seven? Yeah, we're almost halfway through the game. Sorry, we're late. You okay? Yep. Really worked up a sweat. So how'd recon go? All clear. No nasty surprises and no materia. <laughs> we managed to catch her before she could get as far as the reactor. Which is the whole reason we're here. So hurry it up, or those hooded guys will beat us to it. All right, let's fucking get in there then. I think, uh... I think I wasted quite a bit of time early in this episode, so I think we've got time to see where this- Holy shit, is that Mako? Whoa. That's it. The Corel Reactor. Holy shit. The fucking depth of this feel- it's so real. Wow. That's awesome. Hey, so what's the deal with all these creepy hooded guys anyway? We don't know. They're still Not really. victims. Huh. Well, they're in good company. I'll give them that. How you figure? When Shinra invaded Wutai, it was... pretty bad. They leveled towns, killed thousands. And when the dust settled, they forced some BS truce on us. That wasn't Zack in the cutscene, right? Fire. The old geezers at the top did, yeah. But the rest of us were pissed. They'd been running Wutai into the ground for years. It was the last straw. We were done. Everyone was ready to kick those old farts to the curb. And that's when Colonel Lodbrock's team showed up. Three ex-soldiers ready to join the cause. Who'd you say? Lodbrock. His squad saved Wutai from those senile old fossils. Paved the way forward. They didn't do it alone, though. While the Colonel's crew was rallying the people, their friend Viceroy Saruf agreed to help. Then, bam! Revolution! And that is how the interim government was born. Revolution, huh? Y'all did good. <laughs> but, why the interim? Because, once this war with Shinra's behind us, the whole country's gonna come together and decide what kind of government we want. Which is why we're doing everything we can to make sure the interim ends in independence. Pretty cool, right? <laughs> Just gonna stand there? Let's get going! So it does seem that there were a few instances of the DLC that probably would have been good to know. I read online that there wasn't really any sort of connection. I didn't go as far as reading multiple articles, but I did read one and it said that it didn't- it was just like a little bit of a side story, it had nothing to do with the main characters, and so I stayed away from it. Um... But I can- I can tell those little... bits and pieces that she references are, uh, from the DLC. Somebody just Spartan kick her off the edge. So, like, all that stuff down there is Mako? Yep. Then, it's gotta be hiding some ginormous materia! That's not how it works. Oh, I'm gonna be so powerful, it's scary! What? Uh... Oh my god. What the 
What was that thing? A weapon. Huh? It's actually Two called American a weapon? Said only to appear when the planet is in grave danger. Hojo has sought them for years. Did you see what was inside it? That had to have been the biggest freaking materia ever! Yes, Yuffie, you gotta get a grip. That, overgrown fish. that guardian of the planet? Whatever. I'm not about to let a materia that beautiful get away. And just so we're clear, it's mine. I called it. Cool. You fish. Huh? Go keep moving. Hey, not cool. This isn't goodbye, sweet weapon. I'll be back for you soon. <laughs> <sighs> a guardian beast like that wouldn't show up unless Shinra had really pushed the planet to the edge. Meaning, Avalanche was right about the threat they posed all along. We were, weren't we? Yeah. Sounds like it. But don't forget, Shinra's not the only problem. Right. Sephiroth is still out there. So many antagonists. And talking won't stop him. Yeah, well, neither will beach days or fucking, you know, rest stops on hikes. So what the hell? in well that was strange how nothing has happened uh for like the last Three minutes. Either something really big is about to happen. Oh god damn it, I did not mean to do that. Till we lower it. Well, this sucks. What? You know this area, don't you? <clears throat> Control room's up there, at the top of the cliff. How do we reach it? Through the mine. Won't be a walk in the park, though. Place has been abandoned for years. <gasps> what the fuck? Nah, we're working on it. Just wait a minute. Hey! Whoa, 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 whoa! Cloud! Uh. Come on! He is just like them, isn't he? He was a fucking... <gasps> oh, what Hojo was saying in the first game when he was talking about, like, took no significant damage or whatever, he was talking about Perhaps Cloud as an experiment. Why are you a soldier? Yeah. No, not quite. Ex-soldier. Oh, now I recall. My memory was mistaken. My boy. Wait, what? Embrace me. <laughs> Whoa! A touching reunion. Bro, 
Poor Cloud, he made you look like a bitch. Very, very good. And thus is the hypothesis proven correct. I can only hope you will continue not to disappoint. You're enjoying your experience. What the fuck? Why don't you come down here and Before you get any ideas, you should know this glass is bulletproof. Is it glass? No discernible changes after contact. Most fascinating. Sorry to interrupt, my. But you're not my anything. You're just a douche. So you heeded the call too, did you? What are you talking about? <laughs> not consciously, then. Huh? As you can see, your brothers down there are having a little get together. Brothers? Regardless, he's clearly. Bro! Tired. Cloud could rest here while a couple of us go and lower the bridge, yeah? Works for me. When that thing rings, you'll know we're done. And you, don't move till you're good and ready. All right, put on your mining helmets and follow me. Oh, god damn it. <sighs> okay, well, son of a bitch. I'm probably gonna end that one right there, not just because, you know, we're playing as, uh, Yuffie, but because I think this is the start of an, the next part of, you know, the quest that we're currently on. Um, and it's just kind of a good, solid place to stop. I need to chew on the fact that Cloud has been an experiment this entire fucking time, and Hojo has probably been observing him as long as he's been observing everything else going on. Uh, but anyways, yeah, if you made it to this part of the video, I strongly suggest you subscribe if you're not already, because why the hell not? And if you're leaving after this one, if you wouldn't mind leaving a like on your way out the door, that would be sincerely appreciated. And of course, if you plan on sticking around to see what happens, I hope you see me in the next one. Thanks again.